Okay, a few things about the bike. That was very easy. My bum was absolutely comfortable as I love the seat. But I think everybody's bum is different, so you know, some people might not. And after I've tried it for maybe two, three hours, maybe I'll think differently, but I've no pain at all. I feel very comfortable. A lot of people complain about getting a kickstand down. I can see why, but I've got used to it really quickly. You just point your toe in a bit, which you don't normally have to do in most kickstands. It has been made even tighter because I, I've got the centre stand fitted, so the kickstand ends up in that gap in there. But again, I find it really easy. So I'm really happy with it. Now that was a hell of a ride. It is very blustery winds. Now, I'm getting buffeted all the time on the head. Not terribly, but I just do want a bigger screen. But the wind was blowing my body all over the place because it was a side wind blustery. So we're doing that speed. That's just the wind condition, I think, side wind at that sort of speed. But it felt like I was the one wobbling around and the bike just felt very solid, so that's a good thing. Okay, time for a little rest. So, what do I think of my new Honda CB500X? Well, really I just think it's awesome, but uh, in detail. It's incredibly comfortable, it's unbelievably easy to corner in, it's got tons of poke, I mean, it's not your R bike, it's not going to rip the tyres off at the acceleration. But uh, it's going to leave any car behind when you need to get out of a situation. Uh, it's got ABS, which I haven't really needed to use yet. And uh, that's good, peace of mind. That's incredibly comfortable. I mean, it's just, I'm six foot four or five, something like that, and it just feels great. The only thing I am going to change, I'm going to get a taller one of these screens. I've, I've ordered the Honda taller one. Because uh, it's very noisy in the helmet. And you probably might notice that because possibly you can't even hear me, but we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, it's got fantastic get up and go. The torque is basically about the same from 2500 right up to the limit. Imagine you'd be idling along and need to suddenly speed up and uh, it'll just pick up really quickly, very good. Oh, dead wobbly. So yeah, I'm totally wrapped with it. Uh, I've taken it out at night, the first night I had it, actually I left at four in the morning to go and do that uh, time lapse of the sunrise, so I left in the dark. I found the light was very sufficient. Suspension is awesome. Oh, shut up, you stupid intercom thing. The suspension is awesome. Uh, some of the roads around here are really shocking. And, uh, what was I saying? Stupid intercom. Oh, fuck off, intercom. I'm turning this thing off. Yeah, goodbye. All right. The roads around here, as you can see, are pretty shocking. I haven't gone anything yet. Over any surprising bumps or potholes, but I've felt even the slightest feeling of the tyres leaving the ground and traction being lost. It's just brilliant. 
Well, that's supposed to be a lot to do with why I'm cornering so much faster. I'm still, you know, only cornering probably about 50% what somebody who liked their adrenaline buzz would do. So that's enough for me. Still plenty of fun. Look at this thing pick up. So I'm in sixth gear, I just turned the throttle and started in the party car. Yeah, so I'm riding the Kimco. I was changing gear all the bloody time. It's another thing about the Kimco. On the Kimco, I was the suspension, so big difference there. Just go down to fourth and a little bit of a slow run. Now that's got for me, it's a, a beautiful amount of pickup. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to rip the tires off the acceleration. I want to feel. I want to feel some decent power, more than what I need, and that's what this is for me. Uh, I find the controls <coughs> very easy to work. Uh, a lot of people complain about the kickstand being a bit hard to find. It's just something I got used to. The, there's the horn up there, there's the indicator down there. That's kind of the reverse of what they usually are. I got quite used to that. Not the dickhead deciding to use the middle of the road. Um, yeah. It definitely is a very forgiving bike, so it would be very good for learners. Um, you know, it's very hard to get a twitchy feel in it. Whoa, terrible road surface there, but the bike just held onto it. So, yeah, I love it. It's just incredibly easy. To me, it's powerful because I've been riding a 125 and a 250. Very comfortable, great suspension, very, very smooth in the engine and the gears. There's one point where you feel a little bit of vibration, but seriously, it's, it's hardly worth mentioning. And uh, I still find it just as uh, easy to ride and slow riding. I'll see if I can try my little thing. I like to practice my U turns in it. Yeah, it's just as it seems to be just as easy to maneuver, so do a nice little U turn maneuver here. I was around the full lock halfway around there, it felt like no problem at all. So I'm one very happy Cappy, Captain Cranky, Cappy Cranky, who can't really speak. But I'm learning. <laughs>